Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your general reading for you. Let's roll that zodiac die to see what signs you're dealing with. You have got Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. There you are, hiding in the background. Whoop, whoop. Virgo and Sagittarius today. All right. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. I've got something new. My chimes just don't ring over here in this area. I moved my big chimes that I was using from here across the room, and it rings just beautifully. I do not know what it is about this area. Maybe I'm just, the energy's trapped or something. I don't understand it. It just doesn't want to tinkle. All right. <laughs> it doesn't want to tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> we got something ending and something new <laughs> beginning here, my lovely Libras. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's what we needed was to break the ice. So there's good energy in here. All right, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is. Look at that, Nine of Cups. Awesome. Six of Cups. The Lovers. Oh, my gosh. Interesting. Knight of Swords. The Three of Swords, the Emperor, the Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, <clears throat> and the Nine of Swords. Okay, what is going on here? Up and down and up and down energy here. <coughs> and my throat was completely clear before I started this message. Before we came in here to start this, you had the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. Let's see how far this goes back. You had a, a difficult decision to make. Something you were stuck on for quite a while. Something that you were really waiting for to pull you in out of the cold. Um, I'm getting for some of you, this was a personal relationship um, where you were waiting for the other person to respond, to show you that they cared, that they understood what you were saying. And then you were faced with that same decision <clears throat> on whether to stay or go. And you decided you were going to pack your bags and head on out. Um, and it looks like after you've contemplated everything that you're happy with your decision. That I mean, that's the nine of cups. You are ecstatic at your decision. You're like, I'm free. I'm capable. I, I'm happy. This is like a dream come true. I'm hearing that you feel like yourself again. It's something you have not felt in a very long time. In fact, if you look here, it almost looks like this person could be underwater and is breaking free. Their heart is opening again. The the It's like a leap of faith here. Finding the treasure within yourself that you are valuable, that you are worth the effort, the time. Yeah, beautiful. <clears throat> it does look like this was a relationship that you've been involved with for quite a while. It had a lot of really good feelings, a lot of good memories. There's a nostalgia here. It's difficult to walk away from those things that do have, every situation has good and bad. OK, even even the worst situations that go on and on and on have moments of good. OK, so it looks to me like this relationship did have good memories. Um, you felt really close to this person. However, there was some sort of imbalance here that uh, caused you something was going on that caused you to question this person's loyalty or what they really wanted out of this relationship. <clears throat> Um, it, it became too painful for you to stay in this. I'm hearing that you kept hearing things that were like disappointing or heartbreaking and your person would never answer you. They would just go the other way. Like if you confronted them, <clears throat> they might. <clears throat> I am so sorry. Okay. They might actually have like screamed at you and then gone in a different direction. Now, 
I hate to say it, but this could be you, how you feel about your person. But I will say for spirits telling me this, most of the, for most of you, this is how your person treated you. Like you would try to, you know, talk to them, express how you felt with them with this lover's card. You want to be on the same page with them, but as soon as you tried talking to them, they ran away. And they left you feeling heartbroken, confused, sad, disappointed. And you decided, you know what? I'm gonna I'm not gonna do this anymore. I want to be in control of my emotions. I want to feel right. I want to be happy. I, I will say this could be a boss that was making you feel this way for some of you. Like you felt confused. You didn't you were expecting certain things at work. You were promised certain things, maybe during the interview process or during a review. Yes, you're going to be up for promotion or yes, you're going to receive this or yes, we'll take care of this difficult person in your department. Something, you, you know, they said they would take care of it. I'm getting that they just kind of kept shirking the responsibility here. Uh, with this emperor energy over the page of swords, I am hearing that if this is a work-related situation, that somebody is investigating it. Somebody's checking it out, okay? But you're just going to have to hold on for a while and put up with, you know, whatever's going on. If this is your person, like a romantic relationship or a friendship or something along those that nature, or even a family, I mean, this could definitely be a family situation, siblings, parent-child, cousins, whatever. You're deciding to get in control of the situation here, okay? You're going to not let your heart be broken over and over again. This is a game of chess to you, and you're finally planning some strategies here. So what you're doing is looking at how you can better deal with your emotions. Uh, this is what the Page of Swords is. You're I feel that some of you may be talking to a counselor <clears throat> um, or somebody that you can trust, okay? They may not be giving you advice but you're holding on okay so you're keeping things to yourself here in the sense that you're speaking about what's going on you're not taking any actions I, i'm afraid I, I feel like you're afraid to here even though you've overcome here so there's something else that needs to be talked about that's not being expressed. You're holding back on that, and that's going to keep you wrapped up in your in some fear for a little while longer. Let's start clarifying this and seeing what's, what happens here. We'll get to that eventually, okay? All right, it was 8.08 on the timer when I looked up. 8.08 .08 may mean something to somebody, but 8s are about um, everything falling into place as it's supposed to, so that's a good sign. All right, let's go ahead and look at the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody, um, this situation here, okay? I do feel like there's a couple of things going on here. Whatever you resolved here definitely brought in celebrations, a uh, feeling of connection with friends again. Some of you may have been in a relationship where the person was really kind of controlling. Uh, maybe they were out partying all the time and you were sitting home taking care of the kids or just not included, whatever it was. But you have made up your mind that you're going to live your life, okay? You are going to celebrate. You're going to break free from this. <clears throat> Darn it. See, you're standing up for yourself here. This is what the Queen of Swords is, is, is acknowledging to yourself, first of all, the truth of the situation, okay? The reality of what's happening here. Once you deal with the reality, then you can move forward. You'll know what, the, you know, what steps to take. All right. So you have made a decision that it, every, um, your happiness is in your own hands here. So this could be any relationship. Okay, let's look at the, the lover's card here. What more can you tell us about this? The lover's card is always about first, first and foremost, making healthy choices in our relationships. Trying to be on the same page as somebody else. Trying to have equal give and take within a relationship, no matter what type of relationship 
<clears throat> that is. All right, let's clarify the lover's card here, please, Spirit. We got a bunch of cards coming out. But the only one that's upright is the sun. You're looking to do things the right way. Look at this. I kept feeling that two of cups. <clears throat> Darn this throat. <clears throat> All right, you've got you've learned some lesson here and you're following your own path. You're deciding what direction you want to go in. You are making healthy choices for yourself. You're also looking within. This is what the hermit energy is, and the two of cups can be about looking within and deciding what you're going to do here, okay? And you want stability. You want dependability. You want reliability, okay? So we're not keeping those, but you are making healthier choices for yourself here with a sun card, and things will turn out better for you because you're going to come in out of your head. You've got a new focus here. And that's what this is all about. You've got a new focus. You've got a new way of looking at the world, your life, whatever it is, and uh, how you're going to deal with it. So that sun card is like awesome as a clarifying card for the lovers card there. Yeah, you've got a new way of looking at things. You, you're feeling lighter, happier, more connected to those around you, playful, having fun. Getting outside more, doing things, experiencing. You're experiencing life again. That's awesome. All right, let's look at this Knight of Swords. What can you tell us about this Knight of Swords? You've waited a long, long time for this person. You have put in a lot of effort to get to where you're at, and this is all you've got is the seed. You're trying to plant the seed with this person, with this situation. What's going on here? If this is work, that's a pretty uh, long time in getting here. I don't want to say much more about the work aspect until I clear. Okay. They're offering you this, and this is what you're wanting. Okay. Ten of pentacles. They're offering you one pentacle that's taken a long, long time just to get to there. But you were, again, expecting to have a lot more. Look at this. Justice will be served here. There you are, my Libras. I mean, look at this. You were expecting ten of pentacles. You got one pentacle. And justice is going to be served here. It will definitely. Something is... <laughs> yeah, if you were promised a raise of a certain amount, they're going to offer you ten cents instead of a dollar. Um, if you were offered a promotion in the past or guaranteed a promotion within six months... Uh, they're going to promote you laterally. Like they're, you're going to get more work, but no more pay. It's not, I mean, this is ridiculous. If this is your person um, that you're dealing with, whatever type of relationship, uh, romantic or platonic, they're finally going to stop. They're going to stop running and they're going to say, okay, this is what I can give you. This is, I hear you. This is what I can give you. And it's so small. You're going to be like, you know what? I, I don't think I want it. Look at that. You're going to clash. You, you, knight of swords and the knight of swords it's it's not going to be good and it doesn't have to be a big blowout or anything else it will be eye-opening an awakening okay so there could be two different situations here you having left a romantic partner okay and this is all about work this could be about you at work coming to a certain realization i mean take it as it resonates all right, let's look at the Three of Swords, but I'm hearing that you are not going to accept, and you should not accept less than what you were promised. You're breaking free from this. Nine of Pentacles is clarifying the Three of Swords. You're done. You don't want to hurt anymore. You want to stand up. You don't want to be on your knees in pain, suffering, depressed, sad. Yeah, look at this. And you've got the Star card here on the bottom of the deck. Healing. Hope for the future. Even if you have to start on your own again, you're willing to do that. You're willing to take care of yourself. Heal yourself. Because that's the only person you can heal. You can't fix anyone else, okay? Healing here. Hope for the future. Yeah, you're going to feel a little nervous and scared, of course, because you're going to try something new and different. 
and you don't have all the answers, of course not, with the moon card. But look, you do have the moon and stars in your hands. Okay, you got the temperance card. You're putting a, you're going, you're about to put this burden down. You're making that decision, literally, with the two of wands, to put that ten of wands down, to put this burden behind you. Whatever it is, you're you're taking the weight of the world off your own shoulders. You're releasing whatever. You're balancing your own harmonies, your own energies. Oh my gosh. You are bringing yourself into alignment. And look at here. Here's the path to the, to the new day dawning, okay? You have that path right here with the moon card. This is beautiful. And it's a refreshing healing path that you are about to embark on with that star card. Water cleanses, water frees us. It's soothing. Some of you may need to go back to something that you enjoyed doing around water. Maybe you had a water ritual. Maybe you used to take baths all the time and you move someplace where you can't take a bath. It's always showers. Or maybe your person or whatever, you, for whatever reason, you couldn't do your water ritual. You're going to go back to that. You're going to find some sort of healing, cleansing energy in that. All right, let's look at this emperor, which is you, my lovely Libras. Whoop, whoop. Standing up for yourself, taking control, strategizing. Look at this. You just got the lover's card clarifying the emperor energy here. Oh, my gosh. You're making the healthy choices for yourself, no matter what relationship or situation this is, okay? You are being divinely guided, divinely protected. I do hear there are two different paths, okay? One person in this situation is looking over here. This person's looking up there. You're saying, I'm looking right. I'm, I'm just going to look at the future. That's because the emperor is looking that way. And not focusing on the past regrets. Yeah, look at this. Not looking at the past regrets. Not confused anymore with the Seven of Cups. You've got a plan for your future with the Three of Wands there. Oh, I'd love to be out on a boat. A boat just went by. Beautiful all-white boat, too. Real nice. Anyways, um, yeah, you've made the decision to focus on your future. You're not looking back at the regrets. It doesn't do you any good to sit in that energy, does it? Nope. You're going to look towards the future. It give you, gives you hope, promise. It fills your heart with love, too. And it brings you balance and harmony. And you, and you can find positive energies in other endeavors besides just romantic or this company. Okay, so you may find work somewhere else. Look at this. you got the three of pentacles on the bottom when I said work, and this represents working together, working uh, with other people. But this is also about you aligning with your mind, body, and spirit. Everybody, you are on the same page within yourself, but you're also getting on the same page and working well with others towards that ten of pentacles. And look at this. The two of cups showed itself. All right, that's balance, that's harmony, that's peace, that is good, healthy choices. So somebody here may be looking for a different job, a different relationship, that it will be better, okay? It's definitely going to be better for you. Wow, that was incredible. All right, let's look at the page of swords here. Yeah, what's this information about? What more can you tell us about the spirit? What is being learned or talked about, discussed, discovered, expressed? I, I, I get that there's an exchange of information, that it's not like you just telling somebody, I feel like there, or someone telling you, I feel like there's an exchange of ideas, thoughts. What more can you tell us about this spirit? Is there a card already turned over that I missed? Nope. Okay. Look at this. Another tower moment. Yeah, see? There's going to be an exchange. 
but there's going to be some sort of understanding here, an epiphany, okay? There could be an argument. There could be a, 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 an argument between you and somebody else. I hope not, because arguments don't lead anywhere ex except to disagreements, okay? When we can exchange um, information without getting upset, without getting angry, without yelling, that's when we communicate. When we start yelling and accusing and blaming the other person, or they start doing that to us, everybody becomes defensive and nothing is accomplished. Everybody pulls back, okay? And, and it could be, I do feel right here with these cards, the Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords, that some of you may end up in this argument. You might let yourself be baited into it. You can always choose to hold back and not respond. Okay, which would be the which would be the smarter move. But, you know, sometimes our emotions take over. I would recommend, though, if you can step back from it and not get into that um, argument, you'll be better off. You'll have more stability. You won't get stuck. Okay, right back to the page of swords again. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm hearing here. If you engage in the argument, you're going to lose your stability. It's going to become a toxic situation here. You're going to get stuck in this situation for even longer. And then you're going to have to go back and talk to this person again. All right. Before you can change directions. Look at that communication. And you're going to have to wait to hear back from them before you can move forward. So, yeah, try to avoid this disagreement here, please. Try to keep things harmonious and balanced and make statements like, I feel this way when um, I hear you say, or I feel this way when uh, so-and-so calls the house at three o'clock in the morning. I feel this, okay? Don't say you always do or you make me. No, they don't, okay? No one can make you and they don't always do it. So use caution there, okay? Think about what you're saying, because all you can do is address things from your point of view. And that's how you should do it. I feel. Okay. And then you ask for solutions. How can we make it so I don't feel this way? Not what can you do to do, change that? No. What can we do so that I don't feel this way anymore? All right. And if your person gives you nasty answers back, like fix yourself, or I don't know, I don't have an answer for that, then, you know, that's not somebody who's in a relationship with you. They're in a relationship with themselves. You just happen to be in the same space. All right, Four of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles. Are you guys going to move past this? Are you going to hold your peace? What are you going to do here? Four of Pentacles. Clarification, please, Spirit. Well, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to ask you to tickle, tap, or boop, B-O-O-P, that like button for me, if you would, please. And if the message is resonating with you, please go ahead and drop a comment. Let us know what's going on with you. Also, if you are considering um, subscribing to the channel, I would invite you to do so. We have an awesome community here, and we would love to have you join us. And, of course, make sure you hit the little bell icon there so that um, you know when all three to four messages come out every day for my lovely, lovely Libras, cross-watchers, and channel fans. Also, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, email me. My email address is in the description box below or on my About page, and I will send you all the information that you need to make a decision. All right, clarifying your four of pentacles, you've got the ace of swords and the moon. Ooh, so anything that you did not know, I'm hearing some sort of truth is going to be revealed to you. Some of you are going to be very hurt by this revelation, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> that this person does not care. I'm sorry, I don't know how else to say this. This person is not willing to give of themselves to you. And you may find this to be very um, hurtful, painful, or revealing. Some of you may have known it all along. And this, again, could be work-related. This could be 
coming to the realization that, wow, they're not going to give me what they promised me, okay? So whatever your situation is, you're about to have a truth revealed here. Yeah, you're going to focus on your future. You're going to let this go. Whatever it is, if it's a personal relationship, work, friendship, whatever, you're going to focus on your future. You're not going to sit here in this energy of the Nine of Swords. With this Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, you're moving forward. You've got your own path to follow, okay? You have all the resources, the tools, the skills, everything required to go out there and focus on your future. You've learned, okay? So you've got the experience here. You've got the Eight of Cups, you've got the Hermit card, and now you've got the Magician card. You've learned that you have all the skills, all the um, resources, everything you need to be successful in life, okay? Now you're going to follow your own path, your own heart, your own desires. Take your knowledge where you want to take your knowledge. All right, let's look at the Nine of Swords here. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords energy. What's happening here, Spirit? <clears throat> One more thing while I'm shuff shuffling. If you have not visited my other channel yet, Elemental Tarot, which is for all signs, I would invite you to do that too. Um, it's growing quickly, which I appreciate all the um, encouragement, support, love, and everything else that you guys give me over there. But that will, if you uh, have done a birth chart, that other... Uh, channel will help you to discover more and more about yourself by checking out the different um, signs in your birth chart. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. So thank you to everyone that supports this channel, that channel. You know I love you all to pieces. And if you are new here, I'll grow to love you too because I know you'll be supportive of this, the people in this community and of myself and of the, of the messages that come through. So thank I will grow to love you, too, if you're brand new. And by the way, welcome, welcome. You're always welcome here. Everyone is always welcome here in this space. All right, Spirit, what's going to be the end result here? What can we tell our lovely, lovely Libras about this situation here? I really do feel there's two different situations going on. One that you've ended and another one that you're dealing with still. And it could still be two different situations. <clears throat> there could be a family friend, um, family member, a friend, work. All of those things could be going on in your life right now. All right. That came came out kind of sideways in spirit, saying, "Yeah, there's, you know, you're you're kind of moving away from the toxicity <clears throat> of learned behaviors that you've had for years and years and years. You're rising above it." You're learning you're, to trust your intuition to overcome these situations, okay? Yeah, look at this. The Six of Cups here uh, over the... Okay, we're clarifying the Nine of Swords. We've got the Devil Energy, okay? So this is about some sort of toxicity that you are overcoming because the card did come out sideways. You're not there yet. You're getting there. But this is about past beliefs, past promises, past whatever six of cups okay that has left you fearful left you stressed why am i not receiving my pay why am why does this person break my heart why does this disappointment keep happening you're moving away from all of that right here okay and you've got the star card next underneath that disappointment of the three of swords so there's healing here there is hope for the future, and you are rising above the situation. You're trusting your intuition and the universe, your higher power, and for things to just be made right. And I do think that you are going to succeed at that, okay? <clears throat> I think most of you are going to um, find a way to move through this, to break those beliefs that you have in... Um, In denying yourself when you see the red flags, okay? you We all put faith in people and uh, circumstances because that's what we want. We want the best outcome. However, when somebody promises and promises and promises or they won't talk to you and they just keep running away, those are all red flags, okay? 
if somebody says I'm going to do this and then they don't do it, every time you allow them to keep telling you that and they keep don't do it, that's on you, okay? And I'm not judging. I'm just saying you have to decide, oh, okay, I'll just wait another 50 years for them to give me that raise or I'll, I'll wait another 20 years in this relationship for this person to start treating me like an equal. <laughs> if it hasn't happened yet, you got to take the blinders off and move forward. I, I feel like a lot of you are going to be moving through these things. You are going to have a few epiphanies, a few maybe rude awakenings, maybe some disagreements. Um, yeah, there might be even a harsh argument here. Try to minimize the argument because the argument's just going to set you backwards. <clears throat> it's not going to lead you into solutions. Let's see what conflicts or um, situations are not conflicts. What do we? Whatever. Danger, especially in money matters. Okay, so use caution how you are. Don't be aggressive. Again, don't get into the argument here, okay? Lobster, a financial pinch. I'm hearing that if you do, this person may try to control, okay, this could be money. This, I mean, your job. If this is about your job, your career, or whatever, you're going. You may, if you, uh, if you're not careful how you proceed, you uh, you will definitely end up feeling a financial pinch. Some of you will be tempted to just argue with this person and walk out. That would not be advised. Do not engage in an argument no matter what the circumstances are because it's going to set you back either financially, time-wise, or emotionally. That's what Spirit's saying, okay? All right, so we have a couple of messages here. Uh, positive affirmation or blessings. A change for the better, okay? And then great good fortune. <clears throat> so you have butterfly, transformation, four-leaf clover, good luck. Yeah, I'm hearing it's it, it's either this or this, okay? So choose this if you can choose this. If you start to engage in an argument or you see somebody's getting heated up or whatever... Your best bet's just to sit quietly. Don't say anything. Let them express themselves. Or if they're going to walk away again, just let them walk away. Don't engage with somebody who doesn't want to, obviously, speak about it. And if they can't talk about it, that's immature and you don't want to stay there. Okay? But you have to plan, too, I'm hearing. You have to be the emperor. You have to have some strategies, some exit plans. You can't just, some of you will be able to get up and just walk away, okay, and be fine. You've got money in the bank. You've got uh, supportive family or friends that you can count on to get you through the rocky moments. Um, others of you, if you do not have a savings account or money put aside or people that you can count on to help you, have a plan before you leave this job. You've put up with it for this long, okay, don't engage in the argument, Continue to do what you're doing until you can start to move out of the toxic situation. That's the message Spirit has for you. Let's go ahead and see what the Dreamscape Oracle is saying for you. And that's the same whether it's a toxic person, you know, it, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Spirit's saying to use your head. Uh, don't let your emotions rule the situation because you are probably about to learn something that is going to be painful to you like this person does not really care about anyone but themselves and what they want and yes you've given up you may have given up four years of your life with this person okay but guess what do you want to spend another 40 in the same energy or do you want to move forward and uh, have a happier future think about it think about it all right, let's go ahead and see what the Dreamscape Oracle says for you. Balance. There's Libra energy. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> let's see. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Sure. How hard can it be to just put things alphabetically so that they're easier to find? Balance. Where is it? There it is. 39. 39, which is 12, which would be uh, 3. Mind, body, spirit, balance, harmony, working well with others. <clears throat> we contain both uh, binary energy, one and another, inside of our genetic makeup, okay? They're, everything's duality. Thank you. There's the word I was looking for. Balance sits outside of this duality. They follow their vibration, their own story. They can often be positive, revealing the good that sits inside us all. They can also be gloomy as they give in to the dark emotions that lie feral, waiting to attack. Acknowledge those darker moments and emotions too. Balance sits somewhere in between. They know what it is like to carry both sides. Balance blends the best and the worst presenting us all a new opportunity to experience the whole of creation. The meaning of this card is to look for the positive in the negative and the negative in the positive, okay? Temper your emotions. So please, right here, Spirit is asking you to please take a step back and not engage with this person. Do not argue with this person. And, <clears throat> oh my goodness. When this happens, I truly feel like somebody does not want to hear the message that is being said. Okay, just, you have to acknowledge that we all, every single one of us has a dark side, for a lack of a better term, and a light side. We do bad things. We do good things. We have to acknowledge that we have both aspects of ourselves so that we can move forward because if we know that we have dark sides and we don't we do bad things we do mean things we do hurtful things if we can't acknowledge it we can't move past it we can't reconcile it within ourselves and we're always fighting against our good side because we're still holding on to that negativity we have to come into balance neutrality with both the good and the bad in us okay and in others we have to say, okay, if this person's this way, that has nothing to do with us. That has to do with who that person is, who that company is. Who, you know, it's not to do with who you are. Okay, and once you understand that much, boy, it's easier to let go of that person. This just isn't meant to be. This is not who this person, I'm not the person this person's meant to be with. And they're not the person that I should be with. Move on, okay? But you have to understand that before you can. All right, beautiful message there. Spirit would also like to give you an enchanted map oracle message. This is an important message. This Today's reading is very important, okay? 27, home. Nine, you're about to let go of something here. You are about to get the big picture. All right, so Holmes says, you are comfortable in your own skin because you know you belong no matter where you are, okay? So you are, as long as you can focus on yourself and your happiness and where you are, who you are, your true authentic self, you are always at home. Peace, security, safety, belonging, and all of the features that we could want from home are indicated here now for you. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it would be like for you to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. This is what I was just talking about, okay? It is a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or towards one special person who makes you feel like you've come home or acknowledging within yourself that you are the only one who can make you happy. No matter what is happening around you, you are the one 
that can make you feel comfortable, okay, and secure. Home is love and love is all around you, always. Whatever your, your question might be in life right now, stay with this company, you know, will this person stay with me? Should I stay with them? You are meant, you are where you're meant to be and you will reap great benefits, okay, by finding the clarity that you need to, by being comfortable in your own skin. Home will always be with you. It is where your heart is, okay? So no matter what path you're on, you are always home, as long as you remember that it's within you. We are going to, oh, Spirit wants, says somebody out there needs a message. She who becomes eternal metamorphosis, transcend and journey. And we've got the butterfly card right here. So there is something going on there. <clears throat> Spirit's saying you are about to make a major transformation here. I'm trying to shuffle the book with the cards and I'm like, what? <laughs> I always keep the book at the back of the deck. This one was still over there. That's why you got this message. Okay, and look at the purple in here, the healing. You're, you're metamorphosizing. You're transcending. You're changing. I mean, it says a change for the better, and you've got a butterfly here. And butterflies represent the change, metamorphosizing. Anything else here using the L key oracle message spirit? One more shuffle. She who remains, manatilly. Powerful, devotion, true worth. Ooh, that is strong energy right there. I, I'm telling you, that's strong energy right there. All right, we're going to start with Eterna really quick here. Oh, just lost the page. And I think it's probably Eterna. All right, so the message of this card is to indicate that you are at a moment of becoming the being that you have been working on. All of the effort is coming together to send you soaring up to the next level. The good news and the bad news is that there will always be another level to achieve. Each subtle state of existence creates new challenges, new lessons to be learned, new experiences to enjoy. Know that you have safely lived on your current plane or current level and everything that you have learned by and failed in and powered through will be brought with you on your journey. The cranes in this card who rise from the mist show you the past is a source of strength for your future. Like the caterpillar who metamorphoses into a butterfly, it is time to try out your new wings. Okay, so letting, growing beyond, you've grown, outgrown this is what I'm hearing. You've outgrown this person, you've outgrown this job, but you've got to have plans before you move on. Okay, some of you, like I said, will be able to just move, just go, pick up and go, but most of you will need to have some sort of strategy in place, or at least that's what Spirit's recommending. All right, the message of uh, Manatilly here is to look for a new path. Stop for a moment to consider a course correction. Listen for the sound of the bell in the song of a bird, the laugh of a child, or even in the call to worship. These may lead you down a different path, give you a clue as to how to exit from this, okay? Promise yourself that you will make time for renewal. By honoring yourself with space and quiet, and meditation and just taking yourself out of the situation and being calm and peaceful, not arguing with this person, that you will be able to more easily recognize the guideposts that you, of what you need to do or follow. This moment is not a time for taking action. Spirit cannot tell you anymore. Don't leave in a huff. Don't just pick up and go. Plan. Even the nuthatch must pause for a moment to locate the next tree. So have a plan in place before exiting, okay? All right, 
I think, oh, we're going to get you one of these brand new um, soul coaching. What your soul wants you to know. All right. Leadership. You are a beacon of radiance, support, and love. And you guys got that in your readings yesterday, too. So, let's see. Leadership. The card meaning is you are a beacon for others. Your skills will inspire others to greater heights. It's now time to step into the light and take a leadership role, whether that's here, there, or somewhere else. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. I love you.